what's going on guys so today is an interesting day i'm sure a lot of people have probably seen this parking lot before a lot of people probably plan on traveling here but you may not know where i'm at this is actually the corporate headquarters of Moride. this is my friend austin who me and him go way back oh, yeah. like like six years way back That's like a long lot. time ago yeah. and it, i think the first project we did together was the lre mre 4000 yep right uh, the sre 4, sre 4000 we did the sre 4000 uh, and then we did some steps but we haven't done a lot since then honestly it's been a while so we're glad to have you back out here yeah i know it's kind of cool because the relationship between moride and paws kind of rekindled this with me because what they're doing for the palomino paws is pretty extraordinary you guys have have created so much custom fabricated equipment for that chassis it's it's unbelievable and you know, I got to spend some time with the Paws folks and Maynard and the guys that run all that down there. It's it's groundbreaking. Yeah, there's I mean, there's a lot of content, just like you said. Everything from the chassis underneath to the suspension, some of the couplers, anything that's metal on that unit is going to be coming from Moride for the most yep. part. So they're trying to revolutionize that whole overlanding trailer space, and they're doing a really good job with it. So it's been actually a couple-year project that we've worked with. Maynard and the guys over at Paws to get this thing developed. Yep, and uh, if you guys didn't check out the video that I did over at the Paws factory, or if you haven't seen the, the unit that I've had, so I have a long-term evaluation unit that I've been putting through the ringer, uh, man, it's, it's, it's groundbreaking. It's different. It's nothing that you've seen come out of Indiana before. Definitely it's, not. They're, you know. they're trying to take the world by storm, and they're doing it with some really cool, innovative products. Yep, they are. But that said, today's a Moride day, so Austin's going to give me a bit of a guided tour over some of the things that they do here. Um, this is kind of cool for me because whether or not you know it, you probably have Moride equipment on your RV. Yeah. That's probably a good way of saying it, right? Absolutely. And and whether it's a suspension component, Cree 3000 is probably like an industry staple in terms of what you're going to see on so many coaches out there. The Moride Step Above Steps. Um, you're gonna see all sorts of crazy more. Maybe a rubber pin box. Uh, you know, it's just, they have so many accessories, so many upgrades, a lot of them OEM, a lot of them aftermarket. But the cool thing is, is they do things that you may not even know that they do. Unless you've been watching a lot of YouTubers with RVs who bring their RVs here. Right. So we're gonna film a few different uh, a few different videos out here. One of them's gonna start in the service bay where they're doing something pretty phenomenal. And a lot of people get suspension jealousy after they watch what they do here. So. You know, I'm probably assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong, every RV right there is waiting to go in this shop for the thing that I'm about to show, right? It absolutely is, yeah. This is gonna be where they park overnight, they come in the day before, and then they'll basically wait, wake you up at 6 a.m., bring you in when it's your turn, and then we'll flip your your current suspension over. Uh, uh, hold off, hold off. We can't let anybody know what we're doing yet. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're in one of their service bays and in front of me is a Grand Design Reflection fifth wheel. Now, you guys do what you do here on all sorts of fifth wheels. And this is a really good testament to the fact that you don't need to have a $100,000 fifth wheel to get this modification done, right? This is something that if you plan on using your RV a lot and you really want to have that better experience, you contact the folks at Moride and they can get you scheduled to have a full suspension upgrade from you know, I'm not going to say this is a basic suspension. This has, you know, a Dexter Easy Flex suspension equalizer in the middle of it. Um, it might have, has heavy duty shackle straps. It's got some basic, you know, I'm not going to say upgraded suspension, but it has a decent OEM suspension. But what you guys offer is several tiers above that, right? This is the type of suspension that when you buy a Lux, you would expect it, it to be equipped with. Yep. But you put them on anybody's RV. I mean, again, a Grand Design Reflection isn't even the highest end Grand Design. Yet this person brought their RV in here to specifically get this upgrade. So, Austin, do you want to real quickly talk about what's going to happen to this RV? Yeah. Actually, let's move to the other side of this RV where it's a little quieter. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Ride, we've been in business for about 60 years now, and we're known as the premium suspension company. That's where we got our foundation back in 1966. And we've used the same technology in the suspension systems that we're installing today in our current suspension. So anyone with a fifth wheel, regardless of size or cost, what we're trying to do is make sure that that trailer lasts long term. 
we're all about making sure that your house on wheels is going to last long term. It's going to be an investment, but it's going to make sure that we pay it off in the long run. Absolutely. So what we're doing here is, again, there are some slightly upgraded components on this trailer. Grand Design Reflection that you see here has a, a little rubber puck in the equalizer. It has the heavy duty shackles, which are going to be good components. So what we're able to do on our independent suspension, which is what we're doing on a lot of these units, is we're giving you five and a half inches of wheel travel, meaning those wheels can literally move up and down five and a half inches. Um, they also come with the greaseful uh, bearing on there. We upgrade the disc brakes from drum brakes to disc brakes, and we just completely eliminate any of that road shock or vibration that goes into the coach. Yep, and it's not, it's not as simple as removing the axles and throwing new suspension on, right? You guys completely remove and gut the suspension and replace it. It even involves welding some supports and other components in place, doesn't it? It does, and we'll show you that here in a bit. Basically what we're doing is we're taking off the wheels, we're taking off the axles, we're taking off the leaf springs, even those frame hangers that are welded to the frame, we're cutting those off and we're basically bolting up a whole new suspension system, a whole new frame hanger, and it's just much more heavy duty, much stronger, and again, that's going to allow you to drive down the road smooth every single time. Yep. And the way I like to say this, a lot of people are going to say, well, how does this impact my frame's warranty? Well, I think you kind of swap warranties at that point. You're moving to a Moride warranty on your components versus the suspension components that came on it originally. Correct. And you guys have done the engineering to make sure it's done right from a structural reinforcement perspective. That's why you add the box tubing, you add the cross bracing, you add everything you need to make sure it's structurally sound for this, right? That's exactly right. I mean, we've had 20 plus years of experience installing the suspension system. It is the premium suspension out there. Again, for a lot of the full timers or people that are using this day in and day out, they see the value in the independent suspension. It comes with a five year warranty um we back our products we're still family owned which real quick yeah your five-year warranty typically exceeds the brand new warranty most rvs come with that's exactly right so that's a good way of looking that's at most of the way. time you have a year maybe two years of suspension warranty that comes on your rv yep. the warranty they give you on an aftermarket component exceeds that warranty that's exactly right so even if people are worried about any warranty issues on the back end we stand behind our product, we believe in it, and it does last well, well, well beyond the lifespan of that five-year warranty. And it adds resale value to an RV. It does. Which We've had great. people that, you know, they turn from one product, like a reflection, and then they upgrade to solitude or momentum. Um, maybe they had the independent suspension installed. Well, now you can sell that as an added feature, and you can oftentimes get more money out of that unit yep. if you're trying to upgrade. Yeah, and it also shows a buyer that you didn't just own an RV and abuse it, you owned it and upgraded it and you cared about it, which is a good thing as well. Yeah, Because yep. once you invest this, you're talking upwards of what, 10 grand or more for yeah. an install like this. Depending, this is not cheap. Yeah, depending on which route you want to go. We have a tandem axle set up, obviously a triple axle for some of those toy haulers or larger units. We do it with and without disc brakes. So depending on which combination you want to go with, it can range anywhere from you know, it's called six thousand to twelve, thirteen thousand dollars. Okay. So it is an investment, but again, in the long run, what you're doing is you're protecting those those walls, that box of your RV from coming detached, or the walls, or the flooring, or any of the components like a refrigerator and your drawers from falling open. So it's just all about protecting it long term. Yep. Very cool. So stage one, this is kind of a stage two going on. They got the disc brakes in place, right? And looks like they have quite a bit going on over here. So what is this specific setup? Is this an example of what we're just talking about or is this slightly different? Yeah, so this is gonna be basically stage two where you can see a lot of these components have actually been taken off. So now there are no leaf springs under here. As you can see, there's this tubing, which we have to add on to make sure that you're going completely level down the road. Again, you're getting about five and a half inches of wheel travel. So we have to lift the unit up to make sure that you have that ground clearance. Yep. And by the way, guys, this is an active shop, so you're gonna hear yelling and everything in the back. We apologize. Yep, no worries. This is real world stuff. So they're doing an install right here. And this is with one of our sets of the independent suspension and the disc brake. And then we'll install the second axle right behind it later on. And it's all really good looking stuff too. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I see a lot of grand designs around here. Um, is Grand Design, do you see more of one brand over others? I know it's probably a mixture of everything, but 
I certainly see a lot of grand designs in your shop. There are a lot of grand design units that come through the shop. And again, anything from reflection, solitude, momentum will come through. Um, we're happy to install on anything with a minimum weight limit on those units. We have to make sure that we're utilizing the full uh, movement of our independent suspension. Again, a small, small, low end trailer probably doesn't make sense because you won't get the full effect of the trailer, uh, the, the movement of the suspension. But Grand Design is probably one of the top users of the independent suspension. A lot of those guys will come in and they do have slightly upgraded suspensions with like the shackles and the CRE 3000, which do a great job of isolating some of that road shock. This is just going to be the next step up from that. And Grand Design recently actually optioned the independent suspension and disc brakes from the factory. So some people are getting word of that as well. Okay, so right here, you said he's finishing up everything. This is the, the point in which everything gets aligned before it gets put out, right? This is the alignment side. So what he's doing is he's going under the coach and he's gonna be installing some shims to adjust the toe and the camber of the tires to make sure you're going down the road smooth and straight every single time. Yeah. So it's a laser alignment system. You can see it's attached to each of the wheels here and it shoots forward to make sure that again, everything is perfectly in line. What's interesting about this too is if you brought an RV in with just stock OEM axles that roll off the assembly line when an RV is being built and you actually see how out of alignment they typically are, you, people would be shocked. I it mean, they really are. Yeah, a lot of those axles come out of alignment or if you hit really big bumps going over railroad tracks or expansion joints, sometimes that can actually bend that axle out of alignment. So what? What most RV facilities and service centers will do is they actually have to take that axle, the tube axle, and kind of bend it back yeah. into alignment. Yep. So it's just like a credit card. You bend it enough times, it's going to go right back to where it was originally. Yep, they create that crown. Yep, so this is going to be uh, shim aligned, and then also it's never going to go out of alignment. Obviously, we warranty our alignments. I think a 90-day warranty on those, but you can get them touched up at any service center if you ever need to. Very cool. All right. Continuing on. Yep. Okay, so we're at another area here and you can see how they're actually building the suspension. That is super cool. And right here, these are actually the tubes that they use to lift the RV and to place underneath the existing frame rails. I call them riser tubes. But what stands out to me here is how thick that sidewall is. That is one heck of a reinforcement tube. Um, typically, when you look at a tube like that, it's got a super, super thin sidewall. Yep. But you guys use some very, very robust steel. We, we take pride in our quality. We absolutely do. And so we don't skimp on any of the materials, any of the labor. Um, so this is going to be one of those small things that we do to go a step above and make sure that this thing's going to last for the long run. Absolutely. You got guys welding stuff up over here. So they're actually manufacturing this whole system in this area, right? They are. Not every unit is made the exact same way. So a lot of times there's some custom components that we have to go that will go into the suspension system. A lot of the main components like our torque brackets and some of the other components over here are gonna be standard. But then pieces like the riser tubes and some of the shims that go into it, um, some different disc brake components, depending on if you have 7K or 8K or 8.5K axles. It's kind of a custom unit to make sure that you're going down the road and it's going to be a form fit for your unit. Very cool, man. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, so real quick, and to kind of wrap up this segment on the suspension, I know a lot of people have done content on getting the units installed with your system, but I don't think anybody's actually shown that you actually fabricate the system here. You do it like that's a unit being serviced. This is actually the components being fabricated that can be used on that. And the good thing about this is some people may assume that you maybe order this stuff from overseas or you get it from another factory, which means if there's something that needs to be changed, you'd have to send it back for them to do it. But they can make running changes on products to specifically fit the need of your, your RV. And that's awesome when you have your manufacturing facility directly beside your service bay. So that is really, really cool. Uh, anything special here that you wanna talk about? Yeah, I mean, these are just to your point, these are some of the stock components. Again, a lot of the same components are used our, on our independent suspension. We have different riser tubes, different uh, torque brackets. And that's what's going to hold it all together. But to your point, we 
try to stock some of the main components and then we have that ability to be on our feet, act quickly, and then we can always turn stuff over relatively quickly to get customer out the door within a day or two. Yeah. And the thing is, you don't just have installers here, you have fabricators here. We do. And yeah. fabrication means if something's not fitting right on that solitude, they can literally take it to the metal guys and the metal guys can fabricate what they need to make it work. Absolutely. That's huge. That is such a perk of working with this versus a typical service bay that may not even have a welder. They may not have a cutter. They may not have the ability to fabricate this equipment. So that is absolutely awesome. Well, Austin, this is super cool. We're going to wrap this video up and we're going to go find some other cool stuff to film out here at Morai. Thanks again, man. Thank you. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.